So this morning, it was announced that Chase Utley is a new legend coming to MLB The Show 22. Definitely a guy that could have some pretty good cards throughout the year. He was a 30 home run hitter, a 300 plus average, multiple silver sluggers, and a very scarce position. So I'm excited to add a good ass second baseman to the mix. So I feel like it's only right that we take a look at his hypothetical 99 overall stats. But before we get into that, as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post daily. MLB The Show news, tips, and gameplay all throughout the year. So if you like MLB The Show content, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. So hopping right into it. First off, shout out to my boy Ange Nation. Guys, always on top of the fucking game in terms of making attributes for all the new cards coming out. And then he does a lot of collab with some graphic designers, get the card art. So shout out MLB The Show, MLB 22 card art. He's the one that made this Chase Utley. And it looks like they went with the signature route for Chase Utley, which is probably gonna be the case. But I feel like he'd be a really really good 99 overall prime series player. He had like a six year span where he was on top of the fucking game. He was probably the best second baseman in the league during those like five, six years. Out lead his team to a world series, multiple 30 home run campaigns, which is just unheard of from the position. 300 average, around 400 on base. And I feel like his defense was a little underrated. He had a couple seasons where he had over a two war. I think he got over three one year. So he definitely could have some really good all around cards. From what I remember from Chase Utley, cards i believe his last card was like an mlb the show of 17 is that he had a really glitchy left-handed swing but his attributes were always lacking but back then we didn't have the series that we did now i believe all his cards were like all-star caliber cards now we have hardware players we have signature series we have prime all seem to juice up players in different ways and back then we didn't have the up to 125 attributes so i feel like he'll get some juice cards but let's take a look at this boy's stats they made this card nuts diamond hitting diamond defense 116 contact versus righties, 103 versus lefties, 96 power versus right, and 84 power versus lefties. A little bit disappointed in the power. And that's why I said, if you go with like a prime series player where you're taking like his 2005 up to like his 2010 seasons, or you go with like a hardware card showcasing one of his silver sluggers, he was a 30 home run hitter with about a 300 average. So that power will probably be around like the 105 area if it's a different type of card. But for signature series player, 96 power versus right, 84 versus lefties isn't awful. He's going to have good vision with the 96, 95 discipline, 125 clutch, 94 fielding. Like I said, his defense does not get talked about enough. So he's got a good bat, good swing, good defense. Speed's a little bit higher than I thought at 79 and 84. And this is another prime example of what I've talked about with previous cards. If the card looks like this and it comes out early enough, so like June, July, like right around this area, this is going to be a good ass card, especially at a position where there are not a lot of good ass cards. At least not until like Team Affinity cards start getting insanely juiced out. But yeah, I wish the power was a little bit higher, but overall, if he looked like this, I wouldn't be disappointed at all. Like if there's anything that Jorge Polanco and Cattell Marte have shown me over the past few years, is that you do not need to have absolutely insane stats. As long as you got decent attributes and then a glitchy swing, you should be fine. Chase Utley definitely, as far as I remember, had a glitchy left-handed swing, so he should be pretty good. Yeah, man, but shout out to Ange for coming up with this shit. He's always on top of the attribute game, but now we got Chase Utley. Ryan Howard was announced earlier this year. J-Roll was announced, like, what, two years ago? It's time to get Doc back into the game. Get the core of Phillies that helped lead them to a World Series and bring Roy Holiday into the game. Dude, that'd be so fucking nuts. He could have so many cards. A no-hitter card, a perfect game in the playoffs. He's 99 overall pitcher with the Blue Jays and the Phillies. All right, we're rambling a little bit here. This is a chase out late, but let me know what you think of this card. I love it. Power isn't the best, but other than that, I am ecstatic about everything else on this card. And if you compare him to an MLB The Show 17 version, which was his last 99 overall card, like I said, before the 125 stats, these are his stats back then. 71 contact, 76 contact versus right, 81 par versus right, 95 versus lefties. This card will get laughed at. I have seen silver cards with better numbers than this. So they've really juiced up the stats over the year. That's kind of what I meant when I said Chase Utley cards were always very underwhelming in terms of attributes. But hey, the card looks like this. I'll be happy. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We should get a new legend next week, Thursday, same time. So let me know who you think that would be. And then we have the gameplay 
gameplay stream tonight where SDS is going to be talking about the hitting mechanics, fielding mechanics, and new pitching mechanics coming to the game. But hopefully you boys enjoyed this video. Rate Chase Sutley down in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.